What's up guys, it's Katie, and today I'm gonna to be making a Game of Thrones cake. Or attempting to make a Game of Thrones cake. So honestly, this is something that I have always wanted to do uh, for a really long time because I got this amazing Game of Thrones cake mold and I have never used it, ever. And so I've always wanted to bake a Game of Thrones cake. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's the three dragon eggs. So I thought it was finally time because we are celebrating the final season of Game of Thrones. It is coming to an end. I am personally very heartbroken over it, but also very excited to, uh, to watch the premiere this Sunday. I wanted to bake a Game of Thrones cake, so let's do it. So I have to say I am an okay baker. I, I like to bake things in just square dishes because you can't really mess that up and I am super nervous about having to cook something in this type of pan because there are so many nooks and crannies in here. I feel like the cake is just never gonna come out of here. So this is literally an experiment that I've never done before. So you're embarking on this journey with me and we can do it together. I love that the second I go to make a video, there's just a guy outside who decides he's just gonna hammer all the things. So uh, that's fun. So anyway, uh, I decided to make red velvet cake because I thought it was fitting. You know, we have dragons, we have Targaryen. Red is a very symbolistic, color for Game of Thrones. Um, and also I thought it'd be fun to like cut into the cake and it'd be red, so might as well, why not? And they were on sale at the grocery store, don't judge me. So the best thing about box cakes are that all you have to do is dump them into a bowl and mix it up. And it's super, super easy. So I am going to pour the cake mix into the bowl. So all of the ingredients are in the bowl, and I'm not gonna lie, this looks like blood, which makes sense, because fire and blood, sure. Because I'm so afraid that everything is gonna stick in this pan, I am just gonna, I'm gonna kind of spray the crap out of it. I really don't want it to stick. I wanna be able to see all the detail and the design around the side. Okay, now I'm going to dump the batter into this pan and hope that it fills it enough. But I have another box of cake mix in case it doesn't, which things might get crazy and then it may never cook. But who knows, we'll figure it out. All right, I'm really nervous about this, guys. I don't know if this is gonna work. All right, what do you guys think? Is that enough? Like, it doesn't go all the way to the top. And there's some texture at the top, so I feel like but I'm, it also needs room to rise, right? I guess it'll rise and it'll be fine. So I'm not gonna do a whole nother box of cake mix because I feel like that might be overkill and then it'll just like kind of explode and we don't want that. All right, so now, according to the box, I have to put it in the oven for 33-ish minutes and we'll come back and we'll check it out and we'll see if we got an awesome dragon egg cake I hope so. All right, so the cake is in the oven and all we have to do is wait and pray that it turns out okay. I've never cooked anything in such a weird shaped dish before, so honestly guys, this may not work out. So uh, if you're trying this at home and you're waiting around for your cake, here are some things that you can do in the meantime to pass the time. Drink your Game of Thrones beer from Amagang. The new one is called For the Throne. This isn't it, because I already drank the For the Throne. Uh, this is Bend the Knee. But their new one, For the Throne, is out in stores now. You can check that out if you like beer. Or if you like wine, you can drink Game of Thrones wine, which is awesome. You can find that at your grocery store. You can drink out of your Game of Thrones glasses. You can play Game of Thrones Conquest on your phone. Or you can head on over to the Warp Zone and uh, check out the latest Game of Thrones video I just did with them. It just came out, which is really, really exciting. Um, and it's really fun and funny. So you should definitely go check it out. There's a link somewhere that you can click, but make sure you come back for the cake, of course. I mean, come on. All right, so I have pulled it out of the oven and uh, it has cooled a little bit. I'm just really excited to see if it worked and if you can see the design on the bottom of the cake, which will be the top of the cake. So I've seen other people do this online where they just kind of like, you know, make sure their knife can get all the way around the edges of the cake so that hopefully it doesn't stick. I think we're just gonna flip it. I hope it worked. All right, let's, let's hope this works. 
feel like you gotta do it. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, it worked. Can you see all the detailing? It smells so good. I mean, it didn't come out the best looking cake I've ever seen, uh, especially because, you know, it's the bottom of the cake, so it's a little, it's got like all these little grooves and stuff in it, but still, I think that's really awesome. So it's three dragon eggs and a dragon protecting it. I love that. So this is awesome. Dragon cake just in time for the season eight premiere of Game of Thrones, which you guys know I am so excited for. So there you have it, Game of Thrones cake just in time for Game of Thrones. I'm so excited for the premiere this weekend. Oh, I'm not ready, but I'm ready. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button right over here so you don't miss out on any of my new videos coming out. Like I said, huge Game of Thrones fan and I'm gonna be posting recap reviews after every episode of season eight. So you guys don't wanna miss that. And if you wanna catch up on more of my Game of Thrones videos, you can click on over here and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I forgot to actually try the cake. So uh, update, here we go. We're gonna try it and see how it is. Um, should I cut a slice? I feel like I should just eat it, you know? I, I feel like that's what the mother of dragons would do. So here we go. Ooh. And I added, uh, as you can see now, I added cream cheese frosting to it because it's red velvet. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Oh. It's really good. Can't go wrong with box cake.